this might just be one of the best cameras in the last however many years it's been around. So I don't know that this is going to be a super long video, but I just wanted to quickly just share the thoughts off the top of my head on the Ricoh GR3. The, I understand now. When I bought it, I was just looking for a good street photography camera that was very low-key, and this is the one people were raving about. At first, I didn't really know what the big deal was. You know, um, it's fun to shoot on. I was a little bummed it didn't have a viewfinder because I thought that's what I wanted. Uh, it's funny how little I actually use viewfinders now. <laughs> but um, I think that this might just be one of the best cameras in the last however many years it's been around. It's specifically, I think, for the type of photography that I enjoy, which is more of a storytelling on the go, letting life play out in front of you and taking photos sort of chronologically along the way. Um, you may or may not know that I have a website where I share these photo journal entries, which are basically travels or street photography sessions. Um, and I, I will put the photos chronologically most of the time in the order in which I took them unless the order in which I took them is a little out of sync or doesn't feel like a story. The Casey Neistat quote or whoever said it first quote about the best camera is the one you have on you um, is a great quote and we all have our smartphones on us and that's a great tool for photo taking, I guess. Uh, it's not great. Um, the thing about the Ricoh GR3 is this is the same sensor that's in my Fujifilm X-T4 camera. Um, it's not full frame, um, but before I had the Sony a7 III, um, which I actually sold for the Fujifilm X-T4, I had the Sony a6500, which was the same sensor size as this camera. And it's just impressive that that sensor size can fit into such a small little body. Um, it's the ergonomics are great. It's light. The biggest thing is that amount of power and quality literally fits in your pocket. I've seen some people with bigger pants or with a hoodie put like something like the X-T4 or the X100V in their pocket. Um, but it just doesn't compare to this uh, slimness. And any time I'm going somewhere where I think there may be opportunity for photos, I put this in my pocket. And it's just that much more of a burden to say, I'm going to take my Fujifilm X-T4 with a strap and wear it around my neck. Um, and it can swing around and hit things. And it's outside of my body and people could grab it or it can smack up against things. It's just a little bit more cumbersome than just something that slips into your pocket. And just having this much quality in your pocket is fantastic. The positive film, film simulation in this is, is my favorite, a lot of people's favorite. There's great black and white options as well. Another big one for me is the highlight, highlight weighted when you're um, doing your metering, it's fantastic. And you can do similar things on other cameras, but just that specifically, it just allows you to make sure your highlights are protected and then the blacks fall into the abyss, which creates really cool contrasty images, which is just harder to do on your smartphone. You have to do it manually, you have to hold down on the screen and drag it down. I'm talking about iPhone specifically. The last sort of thing that I do enjoy about the Ricoh is the smartphone app. Because I'm taking these JPEG images, I shoot JPEG, JPEG and RAW, so I have those RAW files if I ever wanna go back and actually like spend some time editing them in Lightroom uh, in the future. But I love the JPEGs, and the app on the phone allows you to just turn the, the camera on, connect your phone to it, and download images, and you can actually keep your phone in your pocket, continue taking photos, and as you're taking them, they're immediately going over to the phone, which is something I don't think the Fujifilm X-T4 can do on the Fujifilm app. So that's crazy cool too. Like you don't have to get to a computer and transfer all the files over. If you're on the go, if you want to review things, they're on your phone basically. 
Uh, it's at least the closest thing I've seen to taking a photo and it's already on your phone for review and for share. So there's just too many good things to say about the, the GR3 and I'm assuming the other GR cameras as well. I just, my affinity for this is crazy and I keep going back to it and I know that the internet loves it too. Among all of my videos, the keywords that I use Rico GR3, Rico, Rico GR are the top ones that you guys are searching for when you come to my channel. So I'm positive I'm going to be doing more videos with and about the GR3 in the future. But those were just some quick thoughts off the top of my head on why I love this camera. And um, yeah, I appreciate you guys for watching. If you like all things photography, specifically street photography, storytelling through sort of chronological images, things of that nature, then subscribe to the channel. Uh, that's all we talk about here. So I appreciate you all. Like this video if you enjoyed and if you like the Ricoh GR lineup. And I will see you all in the next video.